the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. <laughs> and what'd you major in? What were you going for? So I'm actually in my third round. So first okay. I was going to be a mass comm major. But now I'm actually like specializing in like IT and like cloud computing. There you go, because so, uh, that's where the money reside. That's where the money <laughs> reside, bro. Big checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. definitely. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, I can see that. I mm-hmm. can see that. Um, but somewhere along the line, music crept in, man. Somehow so, or another. Yeah, man. But Has art, it always been there? Yeah, bro. Art and like everything has always been a part of my life. So my mom. She would, uh, she actually wrote like stage plays, wrote books and everything, and I would act in her stuff. Nice. So I always loved the stage and everything. Church, yeah. Mm-hmm. So in high school, I actually started making music, but you know, I decided to go not the safe route, but the safe route. And I went to school, and I was like, nah, like I feel it in my spirit to drop out. Okay. So I dropped out the first time, made a lot of connections, learned a lot, you know. Then I went back to school mm-hmm. for one week, <laughs> one week, because my parents finally convinced me to go back. Okay, gotcha. But it was still in my spirit to like to like it wasn't the time to go back to school because everything has a season yeah yeah you know what i'm saying so i dropped out again within one week wow left moved back to atlanta so i moved to atlanta the first time this is my third time in Atlanta. okay because you got family here i got family here uh, i got a big base here okay gotcha your roots are here my roots are here and indiana indiana Indiana. okay that's mm -hmm. what's up so uh this is my so pretty much after that yeah i dropped out of school Mm -hmm. in a week then I came back to Atlanta, made some great connections, learned a lot about myself, um, and it's really kept, kept the movement going. And I met, you know, a lot of people that are really important to me today and what the movement is today. Right, right. And that set me up for, like, you know, where I am now. Right. So pretty much I just really thank God because, uh, you know, being able to, like, be led in certain seasons, you need to know, like, what you got to do in certain seasons. True that, true so. that. Yeah, that, that's a toughie sometimes because mm-hmm. uh, I, I know for me, when I got out of high school, um, I I honestly I wandered for a minute. Yeah, I like I ain't have a clue, bro. I was I was lost and I wasn't mm-hmm. really truth. I wasn't getting like no direction. wasn't right. steered in any kind of uh, way. Mm-hmm. wasn't being told to go to college. You know, not you know. I mean, get right. a job maybe. He's figuring it out. Now, I'm still I'm uh, looking in the newspapers. You know, I'm I'm dating right now, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking in the newspaper. Using the yellow page. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You didn't in the, <laughs> yeah. In the classified section, and I used this is at one point I got started getting agitated mm-hmm. because the only section I would go to in the classifieds mm-hmm. was the retail section. Okay. Yeah, you know, like I was like, dang, do, do I know anything? Do I know how to do anything? I'm like, mm-hmm. I, am I gonna flip burgers? You know what I right. mean? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nothing against anybody flipping burgers. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know, I just knew there was more, but I just didn't know what that more was. Hey, you, know you know was on your journey. Hey, hey, you know what you're built for. Yeah. 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 That's real. Yeah. You was on your journey, bro. That's always retail's about. not you. It's not you. Mm-hmm. Facts. I never did. I never did retail in terms of clothing, mm-hmm. but I did flip a burger or two. You know what I'm saying? I did too, man. Yeah. I used to work at Wendy's. Did you? Hated it. <laughs> hey, y'all, hated y'all it. Y'all soldiers, bro. I couldn't. Man. Jerry Sub Shop right up there in Silver Spring, Maryland, yep. dude. Matter of <laughs> fact, I, I worked there for like a couple of days too. Matter of fact. Which one? Uh, up in um Virginia, like Alexandria. Jerry Sub Shop. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's funny. I worked there for like two days. <laughs> really? Yeah. I actually kind of dug it working there though because uh, I'm from D.C. Northwest. Mm-hmm. Everything. The all black everything. Yeah, um, and so it was kind of culture shock when I went to Silver Spring because yeah. we eventually moved out there. And when I got a job out there, I started learning other cultures. Mm-hmm. You know, very diverse. Yeah, very diverse. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of culture shock, shock, but at the same time, it was kind of cool because I was like, "Oh, this is different." Right. I like this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. I like Silver Springs. I got a lot of friends up there too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 